Good morning, this is Tricia, and I want to go over the setups for Thursday the 12th. And if you would like more information on the setups, you can go to www.easyemanytrade.com. I'll try to do both the NQ and the ES if try time permits. And also, reminder that I have a webinar coming up on Thursday the 19th at 8 p.m. So if you haven't um, signed up for that, you can do that at the website as well. So I'm going to start out with the NQ for Thursday and this chart here to my right is my entry chart. The one on my left is my overview of the market. So you get a setup occurring here at 9.33 for a buy. Your indicator is crossing above zero. You are above the moving average over here so you're good to take that. And you take it and away you go. Depending on how you managed it you could have been in for the entire move higher. If you uh, managed it differently and just took something off the table in hopes of getting another re-entry. That would happen here when your histogram goes back to green. You could take that and you have room still above your head. And then you do get presented another opportunity here as well. Um, I'll give you the times on those. That was um, 9.39 and then this was 9.57 and this was above the 50% Fib retracement. So um, you had two opportunities to get in there if you did not take it the first um, take the first entry. And you had a short setting up here at 1017 and you were below the um, moving average on the 3000 tick chart. You're in an uptrend so it's questionable whether you would want to take it or not. Um, very often they will work out. Um, this one did not. Well it really depends on where you got in. Um, if you got in, your stop could have held by a quarter and you were able to capture your first target with it coming down to the um, area of support or you got stopped out by a quarter. So luck of the fill on something like that. So um, was either a winner or a stop out depending on where you got filled on that. If you wanted to give it another shot here, this would be an opportunity for a re-entry. Notice how the histogram disappears and gets smaller in size and then starts to increase in size with your line moving lower. Again, still technically a counter trend trade, but those will very often work out when you get that first cross of that zero line um, whenever something's setting up, like here, here. Those are very high percentage um, trades. As long as, for me, I like to be in line with the moving average over here. Um, a smaller moving average depending on what side I'm on that's the trade that I'm looking to take. This is a buy that's set up at 1037 once again I'm above my nine period um, weighted moving average over here my indicator is above zero I'm good to go I take it um, and away it goes. You have an area of resistance above your head which is the previous day's close in yellow and the low in orange and so likely you would expect that you would get um, a little bit of a stall there. And it actually holds up all day long. Um, here you have a short setting up, but I wouldn't be interested in that because I'm not below my moving average over here just yet. Also, I've got my um, larger moving average right below me, which acts very often as support, so I wouldn't be interested in the short. Um, here you get a buy setting up and if you took that you would know taking it that the area above your head is going to be your um, target area. So you do have room for like two points to take that a little more so you have room to take it if um, that fits your plan. This is during lunch so you know nothing for me to want to do there because I'm not I don't trade during lunch and this set up um, actually at 125 and so, you know, if you were back from lunch and you took it, then great. If you weren't back from lunch yet, then you missed out on that short. And um, like I said, that was at 125. You get an opportunity for a buy here at 253, or thereabouts, actually 254 when that bar finishes. You're above your moving average over here, and you got your line crossing above zero so you take it expecting to get up to the previous area of resistance and then that's that's pretty much it I don't trade after 3.30 on the ES you actually have a setup occurring for a buy right at 9.32 um, actually 9.33 was the time 
line crossing above zero, you're okay with your moving average over here in your um, 5100 tick chart. So you take it and it works out just fine. No place to really take a re-entry back here. Um, so hopefully you wrote it all the way up to the 50% Fib retracement. Um, here you get an opportunity for a re-entry with um, an area of resistance above you. So questionable whether somebody would take that. It worked for a point. Again, questionable whether you would, would have taken it. Um, here you get a short setting up. And just like we pointed out on the ES, excuse me, on the NQ, um, you've got um, an area of support below you as well as you're, you're in an uptrend. Um, but again, if you wanted to take it, it worked out, um, looks like for a point or three quarters of a point. Here you get a buy setting up at 10.39 and area to target would be the low or in the close of the previous day, which is above your head. And again, the first time your line crosses above zero each time, of course with the direction of um, the moving average over here, what side are you on? Those are high probability trades. So very often you can ignore the minor areas of support and resistance that we pick out first thing in the morning um, and you're able to get through those when using a range chart at least to get your first target. If it's a pullback and you have an area of resistance above you I would be um, a little more apprehensive in taking those. So that one works out. Here if you decided to take a um, the short and this was at, I can't get my thing to work here, there we go, um, that was at 11.05. Um, you are below the moving average on the 5100 tick chart and um, you know if you took it you would be expecting to get down to the area of support. Again, it's up to you. That one would have been a loser. You would have, wouldn't have gotten a, a full point out of that. Um, you have a buy here and if you take that you're expecting to get up to your area of resistance that has held and held and held. And um, the rest are during lunch, so nothing to do with any of these here. Um, this sets up at 253. You get a buy. Your line's above zero. You're above your moving average over here. Let me just scroll over here. There we go. You're above your moving average over there, so you are good to take it. And again, your target is going to be that area of resistance above your head um, because it's relevant. It, it held, it held, it held, it held, it held. So um, you would expect that it's going to hold um, again. After that, it's three um, after 3.30, so nothing that I would be interested in doing. So I hope that helps. And like I said, you can get more information on the setups at www.easyeminitrade.com.